How you doing, everybody? Uh, YouTube subscribers, Facebook world, and everybody around the world that's joining us. This week, we're looking into my testimony part one, and the series is called Get to Know God. For us Christians, we learn at camp that giving your testimony is not so much focusing on the negative, but it's actually focusing on what God has done in our lives. Um, and that can lead to leaving our legacy. Now, I'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's look at what it means to be to be a Christian and give our testimony. So right now, what we're actually going to do is ask Steve, okay, so he's joined us today. What is your definition of testimony? And what is uh, what does it mean to you? And what is your testimony, if you would like to share? Really quick, testimony to me, uh, is sharing your personal experiences, um, so that others can benefit from them. And testimony is a powerful thing because it's it's first person. It's right in front of us. It's not written down, but it's it's our own. It's somebody else sharing their own experiences, or me sharing my own experience with you, um, so that you can firsthand receive encouragement, love. Um, strength to overcome your trials um, and sharing my testimony guys um, it's kind of a not really a fancy one but when I was 18 years old I lost some of my friends that I was, I was friends with in high school so um, lost my best friends and I was kind of by myself so it made me think about what I want to do with my life what do I believe um, where am I going and I was always raised up in church but I never really decided to make a full-on commitment until I was 18 and after I lost all my friends, I decided to pick up my Bible because I decided, you know, that, um, you know, I'm just going to start reading it. So I picked it up and started reading through Genesis uh, and read a few chapters of that. And I just thought about it and I was just like, look, I'm not even right with God right now. And I decided to, you know, after a few days, repent, uh, turn from my sins. And I decided to call my pastor and started hanging out with him for a little while, several days. And, uh, and over time, he started hanging out more and more. And, um, yeah, I mean, I eventually just kept growing spiritually. And I, one thing that was pretty cool about my testimony was I quit cussing. And uh, my brother noticed that, and he decided to stop cussing himself. So um, that kind of encouraged him, and he kind of built his faith um, off of something I had done from my own testimony. So that's my testimony, guys. It's pretty basic. I've been following God for the last five years, and I keep doing that. And, uh, that's it. God bless. So what does testimony mean anyway? Testimony, the definition of it, is as stated. A formal written or spoken statement, especially one given in the court of law. It can also mean evidence or proof provided by the existence or appearance of something. Uh, remember when I talk about legacy. I'll get to that in a minute. A public recounting of a religious conversion or experience. Which can be, you know, people refer to that as the Christian testimony. So, to me, testimony is just something, it's so much greater than just, you know, saying, okay, I became a Christian, or I did this, or I was in drugs, and now I'm doing great, or, you know, it, it's so much more than that. Testimony, to me, is part of your legacy. It's part of your story. Everybody around the world has a testimony yes including you okay and your testimony is what gives way to minister to people and change people's lives how do i know this well i've seen it this is basically the pinnacle of what can actually affect somebody's life in the greatest way how do we relate to each other well why we give each other our testimony we share each other's stories. We talk about past experiences. How does that affect each other? Well, if you're giving a good testimony or a good experience, or even if you're coming out of a negative experience and you're saying, hey, look, this is what God did for me, sharing that with somebody can actually change their life for the better. So giving a good testimony is, is one of the keys to actually opening up somebody's heart or relating with somebody or just... You know, any little thing could actually change their life for the better. Or it could save their life. You don't know. 
Um, you really don't know what that person's going through until you give their testimony. And so the verse I have for you guys today um, is actually comes straight out of John. Let me let me look at it here. First John, actually. First John 5 9 says, We accept human testimony, but God's testimony is greater because it is because it is the testimony of God, which he has given about his son. In other words, when we go to tell other people about the good news, we're telling the testimony of God, which is really powerful, guys, because not only are we sharing our testimony and our experience and how we came to know God, but also we're giving the ultimate testimony, his story, his testimony, and that can change lives in millions of ways. I mean, he came... He came down and gave the greatest gift of all. And he showed us the greatest example of love there is. There is no better testimony. So lastly, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to share a little bit of my testimony. I can't share all of my testimony. Um, and some of you may know some of it um, because it would take all night <laughs> for me to share my testimony. But I'm going to share a little bit. And the, the way I came to know God is very different from other people because I did not... I did not grow up, you know, on the streets or doing drugs or, you know, all this other stuff. Um, I actually grew up in a Christian home and I had a Christian family and they raised me. And what really, what really struck me um, as I was growing up was I knew about God, but I didn't know God. I was, I knew about him and knew of him, but, and I grew to knew of him and knew, you know, the Bible stories and all that as a kid. But I did not know God. Um, and it really didn't hit me until I was in my late teens. Uh, probably around 17, 16, 17. Uh, it really struck me that I really didn't know God. Um, not personally and not on that level. Um, and I've seen God work. I saw miracles and I, I, I knew all that. But I did not know him for myself. I did not push the relationship that I needed um, to get to know God. And when I found an organization called ETH, um, which you see some of my videos on YouTube and Instagram and stuff uh, from those camps um, and from those conferences, that sh organization really showed me what it meant to be a family and really showed me what it meant to actually uh, get to know God, actually you know, know him on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, Pretty much, you know, talking to him every day, um, praying and, and doing all this to actually know God. Um, so if you have questions on that, let me know. And, and I will go into greater depth on what that means here in future series. Uh, but it literally changed my life, guys. And I cannot say I would not have seen anything that I've seen as a kid because we were not a rich family growing up. And I would not have done any of the things that I've done. Um, if it wasn't for God. Um, I've had my share of mistakes and trip ups along the way. I'm sure some of you know. Um, and I've had my struggles as well. And we will tackle that in this series as well. How do we fight those? I mean, we're all going to trip up at some point in our life. How do we fight that? And how do we keep strong? And how do we get up and say, hey, today is worth getting up for? All right, that's it, guys. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining us. Uh, remember, as you leave, what does it mean to give your testimony? What does testimony mean to you? And what does it mean to leave your legacy? Next week, we're going to cover legacy and what that means and, and how we can leave a good legacy for the people here on earth um, because we all know that we don't live forever. So what, what does it mean to leave a legacy? And uh, we'll go in depth on more of that. And then we're going to tackle spiritual habits. We're going to tackle physical habits. And eventually, we're going to tackle uh, struggles and good decisions versus bad decisions, what we can do to fight those in our lives. So thank you, and please join us next time. I will be praying for you all. God bless.